Good morning. Welcome to Lemon Juice for the Soul. This is our regular vitamin for our soul. This morning, our verse is written in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 5, 6, and 7. It says, Then the angel spoke to the women, Don't be afraid, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come see where his body was lying. And now go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead, and he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Remember what I have told you. In 1981, there was a devastating flood in central China. During the flood, an ancient pagoda collapsed at Famen Temple. A few years later, archaeologists were digging through the rubble when they made a startling discovery. Sealed in a miniature stone casket, they found what they believed to be part of one of Buddha's fingers. It is now touring Taiwan and was for a while on display at a mountaintop monastery. The finger was housed in a miniature golden pagoda as tens of thousands of people came to pay homage to it. They burned incense and placed flowers all around the relic. One visitor said, I was born more than 2,000 years after the Buddha, but I feel moved and touched to have seen the finger. Some said they felt as though that the Buddha was actually sitting in front of them. How tragic! How utterly empty! People sitting before a piece of dismembered, mummified flesh, feeling as though it was something special. Could the finger of Buddha help them? Could it reach out and touch them? Could it help them? Could it raise them from the dead? We Christians would react quite differently if someone claimed to have preserved finger of Jesus. They or we would not revere it at all. In fact, if someone could find a finger of Jesus, it would literally destroy the Christian's faith per se. The whole Christian faith rests on the fact that there is no such finger to be found. There is no finger there is no hand or no body, for Jesus rose from the dead, and his body is gone, and his tomb is empty. As we Christians believe in an empty tomb, there are no relics because Jesus was bodily resurrected from the grave. We are not here to have a memorial service for a great religious teacher who lived more than 2,000 years ago. We are here to celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ is alive and reigns as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. That's why, going back to our verse, when the women arrive at the tomb of Jesus that Sunday morning, the angel told them, Do not be afraid! I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here because he is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. And then the angel asked them to look at the place where the body of Jesus was lying and bid them go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead and he is going ahead of you to Galilee. Today is 
what we call the uh, Holy Week it's Wednesday Friday will come and we will remember Jesus' suffering and death he will die on the cross he will be buried in a borrowed tomb Saturday pass and Sunday will come he will rise from the dead let us pray dear Heavenly Father we thank you and as we celebrate this Holy Week yes we celebrate because you did not remain on the grave you rose again to give us hope to tell us that this life is not not all of it because this is just a preparation for eternity and you have proved it you rose from the dead as you are going to raise us every one of us from the dead Heavenly Father thank you for giving your life thank you for forgiving us we thank you for that great love and great sacrifice as we remember your love this Holy Week help us Heavenly Father that your love will have fruit in our lives and may we be able also to share that, li that love to other people whom we also love this is our prayer with thanksgiving in Christ's name we pray Amen